What's poppin' YouTube? Oh my god, this shot pace was back with another one. Now I can say that because I got the first video out. So I'm back with another one. Now I gotta put the, put the mask up because COVID is still a thing. How y'all niggas is feeling? It's like, I think it's Monday or something. Yeah, it's Monday. And we back with another episode of B.I.B. Because I'm bored, you know it go down when I'm bored. <laughs> Yo, so I just left. I just left Shahid from the hospital. Then I got that phone call. Nigga was like, "Son, injured." What? Fuck you mean you injured, nigga? What happened? Your shoulder? What? You in the hospital right now? So I went to go see him. And the nigga was fucked up. I mean, he like, he's fucked up mentally. Like physically, he all right. He talking about getting back to board for me in less than a week. But his mental was fucked up. And before I got to him, I done watched the Kanye documentary very inspirational I tried to lay some inspiration on him he all like he lost the motivation for basketball he don't really want to play that shit no more so I'm all like damn like what you mean bro basketball your dream no like you don't you don't really feel it passionate for you like that he like nah it's like this injury like I'm this the worst pain I didn't experience while playing ball. I'm like, I mean, but injuries come with shit like that. But he like, nah, it's not even just that. He's like, it's the coach. And I'm like, so you gonna let another man determine your future? He was like, bro, you saying it like that, but it's like, I don't know about this bullshit no more. I'm like, bro, you nice and you got mad potential, nigga, you got mad bounce yo this nigga could jump this nigga could jump yo let me show y'all niggas yeah. oh you see the motherfucker like damn that nigga could jump, so I'm like, bro, you can't even for me. He like, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about stopping ball, so I'm like, damn, that ass. I'm like, you been playing ball for so long. I mean, like, shit, if you don't, if you don't really feel a love, love for it no more. Like, I don't see why you should do it. I'm like, you should only do things you love. You get what I'm saying? He like. Yeah, I understand exactly what you're saying. But it's like, I want to leave, but then again, I don't. I was like, bro, you just got to find in your heart to see if you really want to do some shit or not. Because I'm like, dreams is like woman. Like, for me, you go through trials and tribulations with your dreams. You got to work hard with your dreams. Spend money on your dreams. For me, and I'm like, basketball right now look like it's breaking your heart. So you got to find a new woman <laughs> straight like that he was like yeah but what do i like what do i really want to do i'm like that's for you to find out not me you i mean you gotta find it in your heart and soul for what you want to do so moral of the story it's look like that nigga got failed hoop dreams that nigga wanted to be an NBA star. Now he bought the finest passion for something else. Damn. But the crazy thing is, I know so many niggas like that. Too many niggas like that. Who thought they was about to go to the league and shit turned the fuck left, nigga. These niggas thought they was all right. 
they thought they was like this when they dead ass was not like that. But it was some niggas who's, who was like that, but just picked up the wrong shit. Like a nigga done picked up the blunt, nigga done picked up the Casamigos bottle. It's mad shit niggas done turned to. Niggas done picked up the illegal money. It's mad shit niggas get into and stop they hoop dreams. Shit me, I'm like, damn. Some real shit. There's so many niggas with that potential to go to the next level, but they get in tune with the wrong niggas. Or they get in tune with the right niggas with the other reason they, for me, about to be rich. Because, I mean, you look at life like the point of life is really to get rich and just get the most money as you can. In my eyes, and if basketball ain't getting you the bread, clearly you're going to start looking for some other shit to get you the bread. So it's just like, mm, why should I do basketball when it's not really putting no money in my pocket right now? I'm not getting paid for no high school shit. That's the mentality niggas put on. And then they turn to the illegal bread. They start doing this, they start trapping. Niggas start rapping. I've just seen a whole lot of ball players turn to the mic. And it ain't bad. It is not bad to do that. But I'm just saying shit happen everywhere. A nigga done put the ball down and just start doing some other shit. Some bad shit and some good shit. It's definitely not all bad. Definitely not all bad. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I told that nigga in the hospital, I was like, yo, bro, you just gotta find what you wanna do. If basketball ain't your passion right now, then you gotta find your passion. Find something you got no problem doing for the rest of your life. He was like, yeah, you're right. I appreciate you laying down the inspiration. You like, I was like, yeah, you know me, nigga. That's what I do. Shit, me. Lay down the inspiration. And yeah, more of the story. Fail hoop dreams. It could turn good. It could turn bad. Shit, me. It's just how life go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that G-Wagon. My hands is freezing. Literally, my shit is numb. That's crazy. No way my hands is that cold. What the fuck? Oh my god, but yo, you know who I am. The flyest nigga in the world. Peso world. Shout out Peso, whatever you want to call me, nigga. I'm out of here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the post notifications. This week we going up on Peso and Benji King Bar album drop. You know you reacting to that shit. Go tap into that. All that fun shit. Y'all niggas have a blessed day. Shout out.